Saturday. Now, I said to you Friday that the last day of the draft, Saturday, everybody's a diamond in the rough. And you're you're looking more speculative. So if you say, well, gee, on my board, this guy was an X and they took him at Y, whatever. That's your personal opinion. Now, I want to tell you what goes into my opinion. Um, I don't put a whole lot of stock in what media think. There are some in the media, um, but they're ones who've come who were successful in the league and now maybe transition to media. Those people matter to me. I really listen to those people. But I like when I develop my board of the top 150 prospects, I do that by talking to multiple executives around the league who let me in on what they're thinking. And so I base my board on that. Now, I'm going to use college for an example because I'm not going to use the NFL because then you'll know who some of my sources are. Glenn Mason used to be the head coach at the University of Minnesota. And uh, if you're a gof, go gofs. But um, at the University of Minnesota, he had a great track record of tremendous running backs. So when Glenn Mason would rate a running back higher on his board of recruits, it carried more weight with me because he carried exponential um track record of developing running backs i hope that makes sense to you so when i listen to the nfl i listen to everybody but at specific positions i'll talk to my friends that have a very strong proven track record for example if if you need a doctor because you're having uh cancer issues you don't go to a dentist you go to an oncologist and, and same way i go to people with a proven track record so i'm going to give you kind of what they thought about on Saturday's draft. And then I'm going to give you their thoughts in general about the Raiders draft. Now I say this every time because I always have critics. Well, Hondo's just speaking for the regime. He doesn't want to lose access. First of all, I'm not losing any access if I'm critical. I'm a member of the Pro Football Writers Association. And there are lots of people who are critical. You don't get kicked out or lose access for being critical. Second of all, the Raiders aren't petty. They're professionals. They understand. I'll give you an example. My good buddy, TJ Duckett, you may remember him. He was a first-round draft pick that went to the Atlanta Falcons as a running back. We were eating lunch one time uh, when he was playing for the Detroit Lions, and he talked about, you know, uh, I'm an NFL player. I'm a professional. People can be critical. It doesn't bother me. I understand. I'm a professional. They understand that. The only time you see people get angry is when you make it personal. And people who have to get personal to make their argument, to me, doesn't matter. I watch people on Twitter that'll send me stuff. Oh, you fat blankety blank, blank, blank. Okay, I'm 256 pounds. I am well aware that I'm not thin. So if you want to tell me that I'm not, you don't bother me. I, I, I know I'm not. And But people who want to make, who have to resort to, per well, you're stupid. Okay, personal attack, mute you gone not listening to you don't give them the privilege of blocking them i just mute them because then when you block them they take a screenshot of it and brag about it so they want that i just mute them but if you want to disagree with me it's not the end of the world i'm not god and here's the other thing we can only judge these players right now where they are at right now i'm there's my other phone sorry but these are this is the phone i use for sources calling me so i got to turn my my thing out. Somebody called me who I was reaching out to for uh, this podcast. So would you please forgive me and show me a little grace? I'm sorry. Anyways, um, I, I'm looking for people who, you know, if they want to disagree, great. But if you have to be disagreeable, you know, I saw people arguing about the Raiders pick in the sixth round. You do know these are all diamonds in the rough. And so it's a crapshoot anyways. So anyways.